Hey guys, it's the Friction here, Tag of Tank 1 2, have him call me, I don't really care. Welcome back to World of Tanks, and I am very glad that I had the opportunity to record this video um, on a PC of my friend, because I'm currently not around, so my audio might be a bit different. Um, yeah, assembly shop, brand new tier 10 heavy tank, the object 780. Uh, I've talked about this tank two years ago when we first looked at it in the garage. It has been around for quite a while now and we have kind of been speculating that it might be a Clan Wars War tank. Now it's coming out tomorrow on June the 16th and it's not a Clan Wars War tank. It is a tank that you actually assemble, thus the name Assembly Shop. So what is so special about this vehicle? Um, it's a Soviet tier 10 heavy tank, so yeah, basically you'll you'll know the deal uh it's going to be quite decent at least from the stats i think it's going to be quite decent 45 kilometers per hour top speed some very nasty armor the lower plate is like very very thin you can almost not see it unfortunately we cannot really show right here you can actually see um the turret is quite sturdy it has 560 alpha damage and uh, decent reload time seven de seven degrees of gun depression which is quite a lot for a soviet heavy tank and yeah, generally speaking, it's probably a quite a good tank, but we'll see um, everything once the tank hits World of Tanks, which is tomorrow. So we'll be seeing these guys running around uh, in the game on June the 16th. Now, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Well, I personally would say it's probably not a good thing the way that they're doing this. Um, I'm also not a very big fan of the... Um, the price which is quite absurd if you ask me but we're gonna get there in just a second so let's first take a look on the North American server there will be there will be um, several tanks available so first and foremost there are going to be 7,000 tanks which have like this individual style with a specific number so you can see the number on the barrel and there's a number at the back of the tank that we'll see in just a second that is actually being displayed it seems to me that it sounds awfully a lot like an nft because the tank is kind of unique um because it has a specific number and it's the only one that has that number but you know there's still seven thousands of them running around 7,000 of them and then you are going to have the chance for another 13,000 tanks which don't have that number but um, are the identical vehicle except for the style so if you are not the first ones to get it I mean you get the second tank the only thing you'll you'll be missing is the style and the number so I mean if it's important to you go for it I guess so this is a new system now how can you get this tank you can either spend credits gold, bonds, national and universal fragments, and free experience. Now, you can add all of them together, and there's actually a very nice little way to see just how much resources you'll need, and spoiler alert, it's going to be a lot. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I will be doing um, eventually when I get back home. Because for me, personally, I wanna get the 780 just to, um, you know, talk about the vehicle, and I'm gonna go through the the stats in a second again. And basically, I want I just wanna, you know, make a review on the vehicle when it's out in the game, when it's out in the wild. So if you are participating in this event and your bids do not go through and you will not get the vehicle, everything will be returned to you, which should be a given. But just so you know, it is. The fact that every resource you invest you will get back if you don't get the vehicle so that's a pretty good thing um, and it has to be this way because otherwise they'd they just be scamming you of a lot of resources so you have several options so you can use six different resources to get this tank and you can see it is very expensive let me show you how expensive it actually is so let me say you have 10 million credits lying around in your garage uh, right now in this instant that is 10 percent of the vehicle's cost so let me add one more zero on top of it there you go you need a hundred million credits to get this tank which is completely insane because a hundred million credits that is a lot of tier 10 tanks and that's basically the amount you start 
the test server with. So you could forget that. I don't think that there are a lot of players with 100 million credits, but uh, there are several players out there with a lot of credits. Maybe some of them have 100 million, but not all of them. So free experience on the other hand, as you can see, 100,000 free XP will get you 12%. Now, you can basically use any of these resources except for the universal fragments and the national fragments, which are um, limited to a certain degree. So you can basically get, what is it, 14% with the universal fragments. So 14%, that's something along the lines of, um, yeah, it's 224 universal fragments that you can use. And I think right here, you can get 22% on the national fragments. That's like 500 fragments that you can use. So I have a lot of fragments lying around. I have most of my tanks unlocked, so I don't need the universal fragments. I don't need the national fragments. I've only been using them when new tanks come out. So for me personally, this is going to be the 34% that I'll be using immediately because I do have enough universal fragments and I certainly have quite a lot of national fragments lying around in my account right now. Then I have about 13,000 bonds. Now the bonds, that's a bit of a tough one. That's um, a very tough decision for me because I might need the bonds in the future. And bonds, and getting bonds is not as easy as it is getting credits or free experience, but bonds, well, I think with the battle passes and everything, you do get quite a few bonds every once in a while. So I currently have 13,400 bonds or 500. So that would be an additional 60 or um, yeah, 30, what, is, what was it? 33% um, right there with the bonds. So I would be at almost 70%. And now it's all about how much am I willing to spend? Uh, I have 3 million credits, which is an additional 3%, which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me, um, that, you know, they really disrespect the credits. It takes long to earn credits, it takes long to earn that much credits. And basically, um, using credits in this scenario is a complete waste of time. I would certainly only use credits if it's the only source available to me but I would much rather spend free experience. Currently, I'm residing at 100,000 free experience, which makes me close to the designated target, which means that I only miss 21%. Now, the 21%, I could either, you know, fill up with 21 million credits, which means that I have to sell some tier 10 tanks. Um, to get 21 million credits, I'd have to sell quite a few um, tier 10 tanks that would be seven of them that I would have to sell then rebuy for the price of six million each most of the time so that's quite expensive that's something that I do not want to do and I couldn't even sell seven unless I started selling today I could sell five I could sell two tomorrow and I would get that or I just get more free experience which I could increase to a total of um, what are we currently missing? We are missing, as I mentioned, 21%. So that will be an additional 100,000 credits. Yeah, experience even more than that. So you could definitely also improve it with gold. Um, 8 million credits on the other hand, I think that's way more doable, but it's still very expensive. So if you have the gold lying around, you should definitely just try to get the free experience uh, because the gold value, like if you still need 8%, um, that's still going to be quite expensive because in the end, that would basically be 5,000, 4,400 gold that you need to spend to get that much. And you can see, even I, with so many resources, am going to be I am going to be struggling because, as you can see, I don't have two hundred thousand free experience. I would definitely need to transform even more, and that is going to be quite expensive. And I don't have four. I don't have a lot of gold remaining. So 
for me personally could be that I have to resort to credits instead of gold because I don't want to spend any more money into wall tanks and I don't have a lot of gold reserves remaining. Now, the only thing I did buy with the gold was more premium days. And in the end, for me personally, I really want to get this tank. I want to get the tank because I'm a collector. And at the same time, I don't really have a lot of things to do anymore in World of Tanks. And if I get this vehicle, at least I can do a review on it, um, which could help out. And if I do it early on, it could help out even more to give you a little bit of a you know, decision-making um, guide or more perspectives on to if it's worth it or not. Now currently, like if I had 13,600 bonds, it would just be 1% more. Now if I completely forgo all of the bonds, you can see that it will get really, really, really expensive. Even with 400,000 base experience, I would not be able to get this fully unlocked so I basically need to sacrifice my bonds that I have, you know, saved for quite a long time. So having talked about this, let us take a look at the vehicle itself and the characteristics and not just, you know, speculate about them. So 2200 HP, a crew of only three people. Um, 530 average damage with the AP shell, which I guess it is an AP shell, I think. And top speed of 45 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, that's quite good if you look at it. AP, APCR, and high explosive. And you can see that the AP shells have actually some very nice shell velocity. Dispersion even 0 0.35 meters per second. Uh, not meters per second, 0 0.35 at 100 meters. Um, actually sounds pretty good for a Soviet heavy tank. You don't have a lot of shells. Your reload time, 14 seconds for a... Is it a 130 millimeter gun? Probably is. That's decent. 70 degrees of gun depression is also very nice. Now we get to the good thing, to survivability. Um, the hull armor is 100 millimeters thick, but you can see that the angling is done extremely well. Side is 100 as well, 50 on the rear. Um, and the turret is incredibly thick with 300 millimeters at the front, 200 on the side, 60 at the rear. Now, as you can see, all of that combined looks pretty much like a tank that is going to be very powerful. We don't know about the dispersion yet. We don't know a lot about the gun handling. Um, but from the point, the points, the characteristics we've seen right here, aim time, dispersion, it looks fine. It looks pretty good to me. Now, view range for a Soviet heavy tank at 410 meters is, damn, I didn't know that the Soviet ta heavy tanks at tier 10 had such good view range, but that's pretty disgusting if you ask me. Moving on to mobility, yeah, specific power to weight ratio is not the best, at least for a medium tank, but for a heavy, 17.47 horsepower per ton, that's pretty decent. And to be fair, this used to be like a very good power to weight ratio back in the days um, for a lot of vehicles. Nowadays, it's kind of lacking. It shows you that uh, there have been a lot of things that have changed in the recent years. So yeah, the Object 780, they're doing it kind of like a, an auction, but this time around, you'll have to collect the resource yourself. The good thing is you can choose what kind of resources you want to use. The bad thing is the price is completely nuts. Um, you know, if you want to get this tank, you either have to spend 800,000 free experience or you have to spend 55,000 um, gold, which is the equivalent of about more than $200, maybe 250 US dollars that you have to spend on this vehicle. And if you want it for credits, 100 million. If you want it for bonds, that's about 40,000 that you have to spend. So yeah, generally speaking, a very, very expensive tank, a vehicle that probably only the players can afford who already have been playing this game for a very long time, such as me or our whales who are willing to pay that amount of money to Wargaming to be able to get this tank into their garage. Now, is it going to be a good tank? We don't really know yet. The characteristics do look pretty good. And 
there are about 7,000 coming in first and then additional 13,000. So on the NA server, well, there are not that many players left. And the ones that are still playing this game, I think not all of them have the funds, but probably a lot. There are a lot of players that are willing to spend big money on a tank like this, especially if it does kind of have a little bit of a, a notion of maybe being overpowered or very powerful, I think this tank will do quite well. Is that a good thing? No. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, um, you know, marketplace kind of style, how they are selling it. Um, a lot of the other players who might have, you know, who are very skillful, who might have um, invested a lot of time into the game, but do not have spent that much money, they're not going to be able to get these vehicles unless they spend absurd amounts of money um, for the tank itself. I generally just think that it's not going to be a very nice thing for all of these players and they will eventually drop out because they're constantly just getting spoon-fed bullshit and they never have the chance to really um, take part in these events unless they dish out and put on big money. If they don't do that, they're going to be left behind and I think that's how we're going to be losing more players. And generally speaking, I just think that Wargaming, I don't even know. Uh, they're trying a lot of different ways to monetize the game. And now they're basically selling us tier 10 tanks that they have been doing in World of Warships. They've been selling tier 10 ships. Um, so, yeah. It's a weird time we're living in. And um, 12 years of World Tanks. This is probably not a very good thing. So, as always, you can, you know... Put your thoughts in the comment section below. This video shouldn't have been too long, but I still wanted to talk about it. And I thought it was relevant, so I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, not a lot of editing. And i see you guys on the next one. Until then, have a good one. still have two videos prepared for this week because I'm away. So i see you on uh, the other videos.